to reset their internal clocks or even try a toddler clock. I never heard of that to help reinforce when it's OK for your child to get out of bed. And here's my suggestion to the bosses. Hopefully you're watching all of these soon to be grumpy mamas here at Channel 6. Maybe we need to get up a little early so we can go home, catch a few Z's before we have to spring mm -hmm. forward and deal with the crankies that are sure to come. The crankies. Yes, you know? yes. And about that coffee. Hey, here we go. Lay it on me. You know what? <laughs> Dads get grumpy too. Rob, do you get Abs grumpy? Ab well, I'm grumpy all the time. Oh, <laughs> Flair, no, you're not. <laughs> but you are so right. Okay. And you said your kids sleep straight through. They do. We don't take naps. So we, you know, did a mom's own call book is what we've used. And they actually put out some advice earlier this week saying, you know, put them to bed normal time on Saturday. Uh -huh. Sunday, wake them up with a real normal time and just do your best uh -huh. not to do any extra nap. Maybe a couple days they'll get and, into Yeah, in a couple days their routine should really help. Uh -huh. I tell you that, you know, I, the Bible's here. Mom's own call's like right here. <laughs> they have saved us. I mean, they truly have. I hope it works for your children. If it doesn't, yes. coffee, 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 coffee. I'm just glad for this reminder because here's Here's me busting up into church an hour. Oh, yeah, yep. no, no, yes. late. Yeah. Uh, so now yeah. I know. We we'll know. Time. But it's so, always so funny, though, to see a few people that do come in a uh -huh. little. They're always going to the service. I was going uh -huh. to the second service. <laughs> are you? Yeah. You are. Uh -huh. have a second service. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take a look what's going on as far as our rain showers. Yeah, the rain is on the radar. Seeing that low pressure system ease its way up the east coast. Then we do have a cold front that is to our west. Right now, of course, the immediate locations dealing with the rain up along I-95 just off to our east. Who's going to see the least amount of rain? Off to the west along I-80. I I, I, can I get it out? Maybe I'm already tired. I-81, that's who's going to